So yeah, it, it's really, uh, our model now is more focused on what the client needs okay. um, when they come to shelter. So. Okay, and um, I'm assuming that you would like your contact information put out so people, if, if people are desperate and they need your help, that uh, we can put this on a ribbon across the bottom for Absolutely. them? Absolutely, yes. And I want to remind people that it doesn't always have to be the victim calling. Like sometimes it's a friend or a family that has concerns or questions. Maybe they're starting to see something that's not sitting right with them. They can also call and we're here to help them as well. So in that case, and that's I'm really glad you brought that up because I didn't know that. So if I'm a friend, would you just counsel me what I need to do to help somebody I'm concerned about? Or would you intervene and go directly to that individual themselves? I think the the it would the risk certainly the the risk would determine how we would be able to help in in, in retros, in retrospect to what is okay. being shared. Okay. Um, yeah. So it's not a yes no kind of question. It's sure. really talking to you. What are you seeing? What are your concerns? Okay. And then being able to guide the person, or even maybe involving police if there's high risk situations that I that we would feel that we need to get some help here. Okay, that's yeah. really that's really really good.